go ahead and get started then. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. There we go. Yes, that is my name. Lillian McCobb. Hot Tuffle Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Yes. Configuration saved. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's, greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pidgey Nations. The teaching staff and different body or er, the teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds and different back of different backgrounds and species. God, I can't read today. It seems hello. <laughs> I'm often asked why I choose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this, Ryota. I haven't done, like, proper voice acting in so long, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Usually you've been ready for an hour by now, Lillian. I can't do a fucking deeper voice than that right now, what the fuck? I'm gonna get there eventually. I'm gonna get the- I'm gonna get the voice that I wanted eventually. Overslept. <laughs> Look at this little cutie. This rock dove is named Koara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he is responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. Can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. <laughs> oh god, this is terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. <laughs> oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. <laughs> Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. <laughs> God, who says Jeepers? And so Ryota pulled me along to the school into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. Semester? What the hell is a semester? What did I just say? Why did I just say that? Okay, um, huh. Today is the start of a new semester, and I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all the lost fun. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. I see what they did there. Haha, <laughs> formation. <laughs> oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Er, I am Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, wake up! It's homeroom. I'm not even gonna bother with voices, apparently. Fuck. <laughs> he sleeps with his eyes open? Not gonna lie, we have a cute teacher. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. This goes to show great minds come in all forms. 
Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shiogane. Oh, this motherfucker. <sighs> this motherfucker. <clears throat> what is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Ugh. Ah, well, I guess that's that. <laughs> hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. <laughs> but we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that... Could you at least say your name, Shiragane? <laughs> Hmm. Shurugane Label Sakya. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna give him the nobleman laugh eventually. <laughs> eventually. Like, you hear this music that this man has accompanying him at all times, right? Oh, hold on, let me uh, move the chat box so you can get a better look at this guy. Here we go. Well, let's just move this over here for a second. This, this motherfucker right here, he has a nobleman laugh. Tell me he doesn't. Tell me he doesn't. He has... He, he's gonna go... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Like, this, that, that's gonna be this motherfucker. Anyways, it seems this fantail is Shurigane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. By the way, fun fact, <laughs> I have a fun little story for right now, actually, because uh, I actually got to see a fantail pigeon IRL because uh, at my childhood home, there was one that quite literally knocked on our front door asking for help because <laughs> it got lost. <laughs> So, um, they are very, very interesting pigeons to look at. Um, anyways. <laughs> but yes, this motherfucker. <laughs> He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakiya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? <sighs> he looked away. N not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything to do with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Mm. He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Lilia McCobb, a sophomore. What about you? Mm. 
your... Mm. Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. This little cutie. Little soft boy here. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Well, that wasn't very nice of me to say. <laughs> Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakia. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years... My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakiya's brother? I wonder what the story behind- Hey. <laughs> you heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakiya's? Uh, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to listen in on you! Eh? <laughs> No sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of you- in front of you- yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so sexy and suave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. So sexy. So suave. Suave, suavecito. <laughs> this fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. You're Lillian, right? How did you- I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend? Oh, I'm bad. I, I cannot see who's. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you say you were a friend of Sakia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that a stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? <laughs> He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything about that. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. Yeah, yeah. Things get very common or er, complicated in the uh, noble families. Hmm. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sorry, I had to drink something real quick. <clears throat> That being said, everyone should uh, stay hydrated. Cough, cough. Sir, where's Ryota? 
He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. Mm, nobody's here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now I think about it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Humble brag. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethylpar, Trife, Lucio Benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? Doctor! I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, hmm? No, thank you. <laughs> Damn, that's a hot doctor, though. Like, I mean, I would have said yes, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, this man could do whatever he wants to me. <laughs> this partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person, and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with... <laughs> All of these things that I do not feel like saying right now, or even worse things. <laughs> and I've never even heard him come in the door. A ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota... Wara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. <sighs> Finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Oh, cool. This is no pudding for a man! Cool. Okasan rejects it! It is a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Uh, hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. The motherfucker's still a bird, even in birdo vision. <laughs> this is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Oh! Okosan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Cool! Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members! Cool! But this is no pudding! Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Oh, go! Cool. Spare the jest, young lady. Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. Ow! Ooh. They'll rue the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Ooh. 
Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? <laughs> and so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations.